Hi, everybody. This is Alan Fine, and I'm here with Travis Pittman, who's the CEO and co-founder of Tour Radar. Tour Radar started as a B2C platform. It's now working with travel advisors. So we're going to do a deep dive on that here on Insider Travel Report. My first question is, what advantage is there for advisors booking with Tour Radar versus directly with a tour operator? I think the the big thing with the adventure booking platform that Tour Radar offers uh, for travel advisors is it's not just a few tour operators. And I think uh, a lot of advisors maybe sell three or four or maybe five uh, different operators. Sometimes a client will have a, a specific wish or they want something that's a little bit off the beaten path. And we have 2,500 tour operators in, in the platform, uh, meaning that you don't just have to go with uh, the standard ones. Uh, you can also find some niche ones, as well as the standard, obviously, and the great uh, providers that we have. Um, so and it's you really don't have about- to, You don't have to go to each website one at a time. Uh, you've aggregated. Yeah. Correct. So we've ag- aggregated 50,000 different uh, organized adventures, and that could be a river cruise where you're actually recording from. Uh, it could be a coach tour. It could be a cycling tour in Vietnam. It, basically, anything that's organized uh, by a tour operator, we've aggregated all the, the best suppliers out there. And so just to make it easier in one place for a, a travel advisor to book stuff. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you what are some of the tours, but you just said a couple of them. You have a few more, and then, I, and then I'll have some more questions. But I mean, it, 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 there's the sky's the limit and it can it, go it, anywhere it, from, from something small to something extravagant, correct? Exactly. And so the average uh, trip length is like uh, eight or nine days. Uh, so it is a, a multi-day trip. Uh, typically it's in a far off place. Uh, so our, our customer base, uh, a lot of Americans traveling to Europe or traveling to Africa or South America. Uh, and so it's, as you say, it can be kind of anything. Uh, and some of the more popular trips we sell are like a seven day trip around Iceland. Uh, could be uh, a wine tour in Tuscany for four days or five days. Uh, could be cycling in Vietnam, as I mentioned. So there's a real range, uh, even to polar experiences. So where you're going down to the Antarctic and things like that. Yeah. So now since we're our audience is travel advisors, do you notice a difference between working with clients directly versus working with travel advisors? Uh, actually, the, the trends have been pretty similar because ultimately the customer are, are kind of the same. Uh, we're just getting people coming directly to our site, but uh, advisors are also getting their own customers who are coming to them. So the trends we've noticed so far from the sort of 1,000 to 1,500 advisors that we have is actually pretty similar, to, to be honest. So I haven't noticed anything really glaringly different other than sometimes we're getting bigger bookings. So the advisors are bringing in more passengers who are maybe on a bigger booking just all in one go. Yeah. Uh, what kind of commissions do they earn? So the, the commissions that advisors can earn, uh, it's around 8%. Uh, we've got an offer at the moment uh, where they can actually get an extra 1% if they're booking uh, between now, I think it's up until September. Um, and so... That's a way that they can, and we realize that maybe it's a bit lower uh, than, than if they go directly to a certain provider, but the contracts, uh, they don't need to go through the hassle of contracting and how do I get paid and get the checks mailed to me, all that kind of stuff. So we try and simplify all that uh, and actually make it all, all done in one place. So there's a convenience factor to the- Correct, yeah. yeah. But, but let's talk about the commissions that they will be getting from, from products that don't ordinarily offer. How does that work? Yeah, so I mean, we know that typically agents are selling the the travel corporation products. They're selling Globus uh, and the range of products from from them. G Adventures, Intrepid, uh, kind of the bigger brands. I think where we look at this is in destination DMCs and uh, local tour operators are offering fantastic products. They just no one knows about them, uh, and I think that's the benefit. We have reviews on the platform where you can see there's been a hundred reviews written by actual customers who have been on these tours, so they can get kind of a sense that even though they're a small unknown provider, they offer fantastic trips, uh, and that's kind of and then they can actually earn the eight or nine percent on those uh, operators at the same time. So. Uh- Travis, are there any other benefits for travel advisors? Yeah, the the other benefits I'd like to probably highlight is at the moment, we're all obviously experiencing pretty uh, crazy call volumes and and, and different uh, uh, hold times with uh, certain airlines, providers, everything in the travel industry right now. And and the self-service aspect of Tourator, uh, where we have all the information available, you can see the pricing, the inclusions, all those type of things, it does make that booking much, much 
quicker and not having to actually uh, sit on hold for, for longer lengths of time. So that's one way. Secondly, uh, we're seeing actually families are trying to travel uh, and they really wanted to get away. And touring has traditionally not been there to understand child pricing, all these different pricing levels. And that's something that we've been working with our tour operators on to actually expose. And that's that's completely new to be able to get that pricing available across a breadth of different operators. So that's another advantage of using the platform. But of course, if they, they needed to reach out, there will be a human there for them. Definitely will be, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now, how do uh, travel advisors sign up? How do they get involved with you? With you? Sure. So I'd hope that uh, possibly in this video, uh, there'll be a, a link where we can actually provide it. So that'll be one way. Uh, secondly, if you come to tourradar.com, uh, down in the footer, uh, there is a, a section there for advisors. So you can click on that link and it takes you through the process. Uh, alternatively, contact us on the, the instant messenger and, and I'm sure our team will be able to send you the link. So, you yeah, know, I like the idea of them going to tourradar.com and finding the link because the link that I have is fairly long. So, okay. Yeah, exactly. To, yeah. to walk it through, it's not so easy. So yeah. Right. yeah. Um, so let's talk about the adventure together hybrid event in October that they should be aware of. Yeah, absolutely. So we started this event last year uh, in the midst of the, the lockdowns and everything, but we wanted I've had this kind of vision for years to bring the multi-day sector together. And this was our first attempt at it. And it was a huge success. I think we had around 1,500 people sign up. We had, you know, lots of people watching a lot of sessions. So we thought, how do we hopefully bring it into this new world where it's all hybrid? Uh, so we still want people who obviously can't make the journey to Vienna, uh, but actually can watch it uh, online. Uh, but they, we're actually offering some VIPs to come to Vienna uh, to actually spend some time locally and actually have sessions uh, in person, which will be televised as well. So uh, it's people from tour operators to DMOs to travel advisors, uh, experts. Uh, hopefully we get some great keynote speakers that we're working on right now, uh, but really focused on how multi-day tours are sold uh, and also obviously river cruising and everything uh, so that we can start to help advisors uh, and also tour operators work together better using the technology uh, the tour radar provides but also not just about tour radar about the, the industry of how we can tell the story about touring better to customers i think is really important that we do yeah. now is there a fee to go no it's, it's completely free to join yeah. uh okay so that's in october do we have an, a specific date or i actually yes. have a i have a website they can go to it's a long website we'll put it in yeah. our description Yes, exactly. There's there's a, a landing page for that uh, at the moment. It's the 18th and 19th of October. So is there an incentive to get travel advisors to come out and be there in October? Yeah, so coming physically, obviously, yes, but uh, online even, uh, there's actually uh, a way for advisors to participate, uh, play a few games and actually be involved a little bit. Uh, and last year we actually gave away a trip to Egypt, I believe it was. Uh, and this year we'll be trying to do something equally, if not better, uh, that we can give away to, to, to one or two travel advisors. Yeah. Okay. So they can, uh, so travel advisors can learn uh, a great deal if they go there, it doesn't cost anything. So we no. advise them to try. All right. Um, yeah. We go out to over 100,000 travel advisors who frankly could care less about the OTA part of your business, but they... Yes but they want to know what the future is for your platform and their use of that. So what do you see as the future? Absolutely. So as part of uh, the pandemic, we, we invested a lot into the platform of how do we not only grow the B2C, but also start to grow our B2B. And, and this was the advisors was a big part of that. Uh, and right now we have a dedicated team on, on this actual part of the product and it's in its really early days. So we see a lot of growth. Uh, we're doing uh, calls with the advisors who are using the platform to understand what are the pain points, what can we do differently or better. Uh, and that's really, I think, learning from the actual users is the really important thing because the challenges, we can assume things, but obviously uh, an advisor has their own uh, challenges and opinions on different things. So no, we're, we're really investing into it because we see 
there's so much opportunity to get this multi-day product into the hands of these advisors. And we're trying to build this ecosystem uh, that tour operators, advisors, and, and then DMOs, how can we all work together to actually make uh, it more seamless uh, and actually easier for everyone to interact and actually sell more, more product? Well, now, you've been around how long? So Tour Raider started in 2010. So we've been around okay, a so while. 2010 uh, has all been with consumer and you're looking, yes. it's like you've plateaued and now it's like, what can we do now? Very shrewd. Exactly. I think it's like we, we know 80% of the market is still booked offline uh, with this product. And so how do we help enable that, that through technology is really the key of what we're doing. Yeah. Well, uh, I want to thank you for talking to us and uh, good luck with this. And we will see you in October. Thank you, Alan. Great to have your time and uh, really enjoyed the chat. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.